Type of device. Type of device is a pressure vacuum breaker. Determine the direction of flow. Number of test cocks. One and two. Install our adapters. Flush. Open, close, open. Request permission to shut down. Close down the downstream shut off. Orientate our test kit. The high is going to be closed, the low is going to be closed, and the vent is going to be open. We're all set to go now. What are we going to do? We're going to look at our formula or look for our formula, and the first thing it says we're going to measure differential pressure. You measure differential pressure, you take the high holes connected to the high side. Low side to number two, open that up. Vent in the bucket. Bleed my high, bleed my low, take my reading. I should have a differential pressure of one or greater. Okay, the next thing you to do is test for tightness. Close down test cock number two and one. Disconnect the holes, the low holes. Put that in the bucket. With the vent. Take the high holes, connect it to test cock number two, open up test cock number two. When you do that, your needle is going to peg. Bleed out any air by opening up the high control valve. Now here comes the test. To test for no flow on a pressure vacuum breaker, we close down the upstream shutoff valve. We observe our test kit. If it's holding steady, that's telling us we test it under no flow. If water's dish starting to, if the needle starts to drop down, that's telling us there's a flow condition and what we did before that is meaningless. Not valid. Okay? Tightness is done. Now we need to test for the air inlet valve. Take that low hose that was in the bucket, wrap it around the test kit, so the end of the hose is at center line of the test kit, and raise the test kit up so the end of the hose and the test kit are all at equal levels. Why are we doing that? Atmosphere. We're trying to equalize atmospheric pressure. Because what you have is atmospheric pressure in here pushing against that gauge. In there. We're going to allow atmospheric pressure to push down with that spring. So what we're going to do is we're going to drain the water out of here, allow the air in the valve to pop down. And we're going to take that reading. So what we're going to do is open up the high control valve one quarter turn. Water will start to come out of the vent and your needle will start to drop down. You will hear a pop, the air in the valve will drop down. You'll observe your reading and it should have all happened before that reached one. That's how to test pressure vacuum rate. Suppose the air in the valve does not drop. It could be that the air in the valve is stuck. It also could be that the upstream shutoff valve was not closed or closed but not drip tight. To test the air in the valve opening point with a leaking upstream shutoff valve, follow the procedures for measuring the opening point of the air in the valve as previously stated. But before opening the test kit high control valve, one quarter turn, slightly open test cock number one. Test cock number one should be sufficiently opened to compensate for the inlet flow of water but not open significantly to cause the test kit needle or air inlet valve to drop due to the reduction in the inlet flow of water. If and once this balance is achieved, the high control valve on the test kit 
can be opened one quarter turn to measure the air inlet valve opening point. If this balance cannot be achieved, the air inlet valve opening point cannot be measured until the upstream shutoff valve can be reclosed, repaired, or replaced.